New at 10 tonight, some students of the Bronx are at a filmmaking boot camp preparing to enter one of the city's more unique public high schools in September. Our education reporter, Lindsay Christ, has a story. Just remember the rules. Uh, what are we not allowed to do in a screenplay class? Yeah. Feelings and thoughts okay just six days into a free crash course on filmmaking these soon-to-be ninth graders are deep into writing their own screenplays they've all been accepted into the tiny cinema school in the bronx which boasts it's the only high school in the country that requires all students take a four-year filmmaking course most of these kids don't have any formal experience with movies beyond watching them so they signed up to spend a month this summer getting a jump start. They learn how from soup to nuts, how to make a film. Uh, they end up making a six minute silent film, non-sync sound, which they have to conceive, write, cast, direct, shoot, edit, and then finally screen by the last day of class. The teacher is the head of the film department and the course is open to all incoming students. This summer, 14 signed up, about 15% of the incoming class at the public school. And it was pretty cool to learn all about these shots and camera angles. It really helped me improve my filmmaking. Older students help advise and give feedback. This rising 12th grader is one of them, bringing her younger brother, whom she babysits. I really love that. And I think I completely agree with Amanda. Tuesday, the students learn the art of the so-called elevator pitch, how to sell a movie idea in 90 seconds, and then presented it to the class. While here, students get internships at places like Vice, 21st Century Fox, and the Directors Guild. And alumni have gone on to top colleges like NYU and Vassar, sometimes to study film, sometimes not. While we are a film school, we want to teach transferable skills. So yes, filmmaking is the, is the cover. But the real skills they're learning are how to problem solve, how to deal with something. He says while making a movie, many things can and do go wrong. What this school teaches is how to figure out a better way. Lindsay Christ, New York One. Because one day you may be watching some up and coming films from local Bronx sites. I believe it. News 12 Night Sides, Asia McKenzie, stopping by the Cinema School in Soundview, where kids are learning the ins and outs of film. This classroom is filled with the next Steven Spielberg or maybe even Ava DuVernay. I wanted to be a filmmaker for like a while, but I never really got like any experience. So this class has really helped me, you know, learn more about filmmaking and like what like really masters of films can do. And it's doing just that. The Cinema School in Soundview preparing incoming freshmen for the fall with a three week film boot camp, diving into the basics of the medium. Students learn to specialize. They learn that their role is important, that they have to have a role. And the, the point of the school is not just the filmmaking, it's the transferable skills. From writing, editing, coming up with their own film ideas, the students are doing it all and learning to work together to come up with some really great ideas. Well, I'm working on a project where my brother and sister are fighting about a toy that they wanted and neither of them get it because my parents say no. Well, my project is um, a short film about a girl named Zoe who loses her phone and has to get it back after her mom gets like really mad at her. And all of their hard work hopefully earning them a spot in the film industry in the future. And I love seeing students by the end of their four years here making these incredible films that are uniquely theirs. In Soundview, Asia McKenzie, News 12 Nightside. I'm so excited for that. Like I you said, am. maybe one day we'll like see their movies. Definitely. Maybe sooner than we think. A high school in the Bronx is capitalizing on a teen's obsession with TV and social media and including it as part of the curriculum. And teachers say it's working. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle Lee has a look inside the cinema school. Quiet on set. Uh, camera ready. Camera ready. Camera rolling. Camera rolling. Action. This is an 11th grade class at the cinema school in the Bronx. Does anybody remember our rule? for keeping a scene moving. Jacob Stiebel is their teacher. End your late, leave early, right? Yeah. Don't do it in school, but in your screenplay, it's important. Kids here study movies, make movies. The movies get teens using literature, political science, math, history. If you're making a historical fiction, what era is this in? What used to be a distraction is useful material. We know you're watching Netflix instead of doing your homework sometimes, but here that's somewhat of a positive. Each of Jacob's classes resembles a movie set. Students take turns directing. Black and purple is the color that most of us use because it's the color of laws. You took an academic risk and you said, based on my knowledge of color theory, I don't think it was an accident. This is what I want all of you to be able to do. We see students who find their voice. Chris Negron was one of those students. 
In my first year teaching, he was one of my students. Who found his voice. Coming into high school, um, I didn't really take education seriously. That all changed when Chris walked into Jacob's film class. He got really into filmmaking. I was like, yeah, I, I need to get my act together in order for me to do the things that I want. And his grades started turning around dramatically. Six years later, the guy who expected to skip college now excelling at Fordham University. I think if I didn't feel that passion that I had for filmmaking, I would have never um, realized why my studies are important. Chris may have been Jacob's first success. Watching him grow is just amazing. But there are so many students just like him. And I've seen this happen a bunch of times, and it's the most satisfying thing ever. Students who first fell in love with film then came to appreciate learning. And that's exactly where I want us to be. Danielle Lee, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.